Shalom. This is your host, Pastor Enoch Perry. Welcome to The Journey, where we look at the journeys of our prominent members of our society and how they made it to the top. And I believe that uh, as a result of this program, God is going to bless you. And uh, today, I have uh, this beautiful, talented woman, Nambita Mpumluana. Welcome once more to our program. Thank you so much. You know, we've been talking to you last week about your journey, and uh, it has been very interesting. Now, my sister, where are you at the moment in this great journey? In Randburg. <laughs> hey man, that's a good one. <laughs> gotcha. You got me. <laughs> yeah. um, um, I just turned 50 last okay. week. Huh? Yep, I just turned 50. We, in my house, we call it Ferry. <laughs> wow, Jubilee. Yeah, we call it, it's the Divas Jubilee. Wow. So we just turned 50, mm. and um, I wanted to make some changes. Mm. I mm. wanted to, um, I've spent the last um, 30 years, especially in my career, mm -mm. Uh, building. Mm. And um, building for myself and building for my son. And I felt a, a different need this time around. Mm -mm. And I uh, decided to mark it with a jubilee mm -hmm. that no more battles. No more, um, you know, when you, I don't know if you, well, I think you have been in a field where you had to, you know, hack yeah, your way yeah, through. Yeah. Uh, I know being, you know, growing up in a farm, you always mm, have to mm, do that. Mm, mm. And that's what I've been doing for the past 30 years in my career, is, mm, is, is blazing a trail mm, and, mm. and trying to create a future. And this time around, I think I've done enough. Wow. I think I've done enough of that. I'm not saying I'm never gonna, you know, be looking for new adventures, mm, mm. but I'm looking for different adventures right now. Okay. Mm. R rather than your career, like professionally acting, I've always done more than just acting. Okay. I think people have known about my acting mm -hmm. because again, it's televised, it's it's, it's yeah. written about. But I've always done more. I've okay. always been behind the scenes. I've always written, I've, I, I, I speak, I do motivational talks. Mm -hmm. We have a program called the Diva Nexus where we workshop um, uh, women on self-empowerment and self-actualization. Mm -hmm. There are two projects right now that I'm working on that I just felt by my heart and my, my being just kind of react. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about it just yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> we have an expression in Kosa that um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's so like I don't count the chickens before they are hatched. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So we will not speak in, in specifics on okay. that. Okay. But we've got two major projects that we're working on at Namita Projects mm -hmm. that um, I know mm -hmm. that will revolutionize the, the, the entertainment industry. And it's a blessing to me that I, you know, I've been endowed with this. So I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to taking it out there into, into the public. Wow. You've been uh, in the industry for, for 30 years. Professionally. Professionally. Mm -hmm. And uh, how does it make you feel when you look back? Old. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the things you've achieved. Uh, I feel incredibly blessed. Mm. I feel so blessed. I've learned a lot. Eh? Mm, mm, mm. Um, I remember doing a, a movie with um, Angelina Jolie mm, in, mm. in Namibia. And from that experience, I learned that you pay people to be angry for you. Okay. <laughs> you pay people to be upset That's for a good you. one. <laughs> mm -hmm. It goes a very well, long way. <laughs> you sit back okay. and, and okay. pay somebody to go and, and be angry yeah. on your behalf. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but also, yeah. if you don't ask for it, they mm -hmm. don't know that you want it and they're not going to give it to you. Mm. Um, her son was, uh, you know, arriving on, and going to be part of our set environment. And it's around this time that my father passed away. Mm -hmm. And I wanted my son with me. And she looked at me and said, so why isn't he here? And I had no answer. I had not asked anybody if I could have my son with me. Mm. Therefore, my son was not with me. And as soon as I asked, and they said, well, um, how old is he? What's he going to need? And I said, well, he's five, and he's going to need um, some, something to do. Before I left to go and fetch him, I had a nanny. I had a tutor for him. My mm. trailer was equipped to be child friendly. Wow. And we had built a tent where all the kids are going to be, you know, to, mm -hmm. in, to be schooled in the morning and watch movies. And I'm thinking, all I had to do was ask. Wow. So I learned that it ask and it shall be given to you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And for, some, for somebody who'd been hearing this for all of her life, I, didn't, I don't know why I hadn't 
actualized it. Mm. Um, I remember uh, there were just so many lessons, you mm. know, when you mm. get onto a set, all of them were either good or bad, negative and positive. Mm -hmm. But you learn, hey, been a lot of learning. Maybe let me ask a silly question. Maybe, you know, at, uh, as an actor, you are maybe in your personal life, you are in a bad space. Things are not really happening. Then you have to go there and act and happy role. How does it work? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you must <laughs> learn to get out of the way. <laughs> okay. You must get out of the way. Because um, when I take on a role, it's mm -hmm. not me that I, I, I'm, I'm portraying. Mm -hmm. If it's Pastor Piri that I'm portraying, Pastor Piri is not upset right now. Mm -hmm. So upset Namita, get out of the way. Okay, okay, yeah. You are a vessel. Mm. You literally are a vessel. You and I are not very different in our professions. You do realize mm. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a vessel and you need mm. to empty the vessel of yourself. Mm. It's similar to this. It's a container, it's a vessel. Mm, so mm, you must take mm. out whatever else was in there mm, and mm. pour in what is necessary for this moment. Mm, mm. You, you need to get out of the way. Mm. So if there was khamer in there and, and you now want to drink just pure water, mm, if mm. you haven't cleansed it in there and taken everything out of there, your water is going to taste, it's not going to taste like water. Absolutely. And therefore it's not going to do what water is supposed to do. Mm. You need to get out of the way. Wow, that's powerful. Now, what has influenced you, or rather, who has influenced you? Either books, what kind of books have you been reading mm. over the years, <laughs> and which personalities have influenced your thinking? My grandmother had an incredible influence in my life, mostly because she raised me, you know, okay. so that wasn't necessary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> she had a stillness in her that it's taken me a while to learn. Mm -hmm. Henry Glele had that stillness as an like I, yeah, watching him on yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. But he could communicate in the middle of that stillness. I sat for hours on end just watching him move his ears and just watching him twitch, and his eyes were still quite steely. And I, for hours on end, I would sit there and watch him, just trying to learn how to be still and communicate at the same time. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It mm. <laughs> took a long time. I'm still working on it. Wow, wow. Um, I know that my grandmother had a way of, again, you remember I was telling you that there's that finger yeah. and that finger is still. And, yeah, yeah. And that finger tells you what you, reminds you of what you're supposed to know in this moment. Mm. So that finger is not give, telling you anything new. It's just teaching you remember yourself. Mm. So that, I think for me, is one of the biggest lessons. Yeah, who? yeah. <laughs> okay. that finger. Yeah, that finger. Mm. Mm. And I think, also, when um, she had passed on, mm -hmm. I had to learn to have my own ways of reminding myself of that finger moment. Mm. Um, and I think one of the biggest things that she taught me is that in every storm, there's always a blessing. Wow. You need to quiet yourself enough to remember to look for the blessing in the storm. It's not an easy thing mm, to do. Mm. Look, if somebody slaps you, you, you get angry immediately. You want to do something about it. Mm, mm. But most, li most likely the thing that you're going to do about that moment is not going to serve you. Mm, mm. You're probably going to slap back. You're probably going to, you know, want to hurt that person back because they've hurt you. But that's not going to serve you. It's not going to take you into next week in a positive way. It's gonna take you into a lot of regretting and that's not good for you. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna take you into a lot of hurt, you mm. know. Um, you're gonna be sitting at two o'clock in the morning like accounting to yourself and not being happy about yourself. Mm. And you can never go back to that moment. Mm. Find the blessing in the storm. Wow, powerful. Now, now as, as a child of God, do you relate on a daily basis the Bible to your career? I try. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. the most honest answer I can give you. Okay. I try. It's not easy, hey? Mm -hmm. It's not. I find that um, the prayer book for me, because it's got excerpts of the Bible, okay. that works. I've got an app in my phone that mm -hmm. tells, gives me a, a scripture every day. Okay. And sometimes I want to read them, and sometimes I really don't want to read them yeah. because yeah. I'm just too busy yeah. being in the storm. Mm -hmm. And can you just give me that hour or that week of being mm. in the storm right now? 
I will pray later. Like right now, let me just wallow in my self-pity. Wow. And it's okay. It's okay mm. to do that. So I spend a lot of time with my prayer book. The Anglican mm. prayer book is very good for me. And mm. also ASETOPIA. And you just, you just give them in, in bite sizes. The uh, prayers in the, the that um, for some reason, and God is good about this, that mm -mm. whatever kind of storm you're in, when, when you get yourself into a moment of, I want to pray right now, the right prayer comes through. Yeah. You know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not going to go, hmm, which prayer should I come up with? Mm -mm. It comes to you. Spontaneously. Spontaneously, yeah. spontaneously, that is the prayer that you need. Wow. There is a prayer that my grandmother gave me that I make sure that before my first scene of every day that I'm on set, mm. that is the prayer that I that I that I make sure that I speak it out. And sometimes as I'm walking onto it into a scene, I'm like, <laughs> just so that you know, it just brings everything mm. into into one space. Mm -hmm. And you must always invite God into whatever you do. Powerful, mm. powerful. Thank you. We're gonna take a music break, and uh, when we come back, more about the story of uh, Nambita. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm uh, in conversation with uh, Nambita, sharing her journey uh, with us. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, a journey of many miles begins with uh, one step. Uh, my sister, like when you look at uh, at your career, uh, most of us know you as a as a as an actor, and uh, here you are today. Is there anything that you would look back and say, I think, if I had power? I would change that in my 30 years of uh, acting, you know, of my career. <laughs> of my career. Um, I, I think I maybe would have focused more on certain things than I did. Okay. I've never been an emotional being, and I think maybe there was a time when I could have learned it. I don't know. Mm. Um, I've been very candid in my life, and that's because my grandmother was incredibly candid. Okay. If it's black, it's black. If it's white, it's white. Let's not discuss it. Okay. Um, so I've been incredibly candid, and sometimes it it, it, it doesn't sit well with people, yeah. and you know that, that comes with labels depending mm. on how that, you know that person is feeling about themselves when mm -hmm. you you know when you have that encounter. That I think I don't know if it's something I could have learned or not, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about, you know, what could I have changed, I think perhaps I could have, in, in retrospect now, mm -hmm. I could have paid more attention to it, but I don't know if I would have been able to change it. Okay. Um, and I don't know if I needed to change it. So I think that's, you know, it, it's neither here nor there, I suppose, it's, mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. One of the things perhaps that I wish I could have had is more time with my grandmother. Wow. Um, uh, and more time with my father. Mm -hmm. But I remember when she was passing on, I kept trying to think, what do I need? What do I need? What, what could I have? What? And the only thing that I could think of on that day was watching her and, and, and just cleaning her eyes and just mm -hmm. holding her hand and just being with her in the same way that I did, it, I did and was when I was young. Mm -hmm. And that was more fulfilling than anything I could have imagined. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. And uh, your father passed on as well? My father passed on in 2002. Okay. I had, um, I, he didn't raise me. Okay. Because my, grandma, my grandparents yeah, raised yeah, me. Yeah. Um, but I learned to appreciate men through him. Mm. I learned how to let go of men through him. I learned a lot from him about how to love myself in whether there is a man in my life or not. Mm -hmm. And he influenced me greatly as wow. far as that was concerned, wow. yeah. Wow. That's the one thing that I wish I could yeah. have, that's yeah. the one experience I wish I could have had. I okay. wish I could have been married. Okay. That would have been interesting. Mm. I don't know how and damaging what? that could have been. And, and, and <laughs> did you make a choice not to? I did not. I did just did not make a choice to seek it. Does that make sense? Yeah, in a way. I didn't like yeah. get up in the morning like let's go find us a husband. I I just <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. Somebody could have been hurt, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But um, I think I just allowed um, God to dictate and to just let it happen mm -hmm. as it did, and um, and I think we're we're still okay with it. 
Wow, okay. Now, now when you look at uh, what you have achieved over the years, do you see the need of creating a platform to empowering young people, not only through academic theoretical information, but also through your, what you've learned personally, practically, in opposed to, to, to what is taught in books? Okay. As you're asking me this question, I'm thinking, okay, God's got like a really weird sense of humor because that's kind of what one of the projects <laughs> that we're working on. <laughs> wow. wow. Um, I've been mentoring um, children, uh, children, young people, um, young artists and women in general mm -mm. for years. Um, and only recently did we uh, agree to formalize it. Okay. Um, again, I'm not going to go into specifics Absolutely. now Absolutely. <laughs> because it's not a good idea, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. <laughs> wow, yes. wow. So, so there is uh, that program in the pipeline of there is, happening I, You know what, I do teach uh, voiceover artists. <clears throat> okay. And one, th one of the things that I've learned, especially in South Africa, is for my career, mm -hmm. is that you need your bread and butter jobs. As much as mm -hmm. um, you know you're great on stage, you don't always have a job on stage. As yeah. much as you're great at camera, you don't always have that job. What you do need is something that's going to feed you consistently that is within the Absolutely. realm of yours of your emotional space and, mm -hmm. and your you know your career path mm -hmm. voiceover work is amazing for that so and that's what keeps my bond going that's what keeps you know my child smiling and you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i train voiceover artists mm -hmm. and i train them as communicators as opposed to speakers wow mm -hmm. wow now my sister like obviously uh we are living in a new South Africa, which is very different from uh, the South Africa you, which you probably left when you went to Canada. Right. And uh, with your experience overseas, mm. is there anything that you believe must be impacted in our society, maybe in, in, in that space of, 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 of show business? I think we need to um, learn to appreciate mm. the artists my job mm -hmm. is to be invisible. Mm. I am the person who calms your lawyer before they go defend you in court tomorrow. Okay. I'm the person who okay, yeah, that's beautiful. distresses the doctor that's going to op operate on your mother wow. tomorrow. That's what I do. That's, but he that's must profound. not see me. Mm. He must just distress. Do you see the difference? Mm, mm. I am that person that... Um, that reminds you of your favorite song. So when you need to calm down tomorrow, you think you echo that song. I, that's, that's what I do. Mm. But you must never remember me. You must remember the song. You must mm. not know me. You must remember the joke and tell it again at work. That's my job. My job is to be invisible. My job is not to be in your face. If you remember me, it's an honor. Mm. But if you don't remember me, it's a greater honor because it means I did my job. Mm, mm. So being famous is not part of what we do. It's it's almost difficult for true artists to be famous because then you've got all these people wanting to talk to you. I remember being at a school in Tata last year, um, and it, my, my, my cousin's school, and they said, oh, no, no, sis, you must come and say hello to everybody. And I went there, and they were at assembly, and they, the shrill of their screams, and they were appreciating me. Mm. And But every in, every atom in my body wanted was telling me to go the opposite direction and just run as fast as I can. Wow. Because it's it's it's, it's a lot. It's it, I'm I don't get up in the morning to be famous. I get up in the morning to communicate, to tell story, to to make you feel something, to get you to the next moment. That's what I get up to, for. Mm. The fame and all of that noise is is strenuous. Mm. I'm not saying stop. I'm just telling you, it's it, it's difficult to 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 live with and to and to um, so as a result, you find us going like this, you know, mm -hmm. and just hiding under. I try to wear wigs and sunglasses just so that I can have a moment of privacy, mm -hmm. a moment of me. Wow, wow, mm. wow! And uh, in your spare time, what do you do? If you want to hide distress. in my room, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, you you've said something profound that uh, you, you you are there to soothe. Uh, a, a doctor before he operates on uh, one's mother. Now, now, mm. who, who ministers to you? Thank you. Um, my son, my family. I um, I do a lot of Sudoku. I do a lot of crosswords. Hmm? What's that? 
<laughs> Sudoku is like, it's oh a yeah, numbers oh yeah, crossword. Oh yeah, I yeah. love numbers. Okay, okay. So <laughs> it's a numbers crossword. Okay. <laughs> I've got a game on my phone that I sit there with, mm -hmm. just so that I'm not thinking. What we do is we, we observe society, we study human behavior, and we, f we reflect it to society and to, you know, to, to everybody else, mm. to you, to your neighbor, to your family. That's what I do. Um, I don't pretend to, I, 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 I reflect you to you. I'm your mirror, that's what I do. So I'm constantly studying people. I'm constantly sitting in the corner, not being the life of the party, but it's just watching how people are doing things. It could help me in my next um, character that I have to put together. Mm -hmm. Or it's just fascinating to me when I'm watching two people interacting. And I can tell you right now without hearing what they're saying, what, how they feel about each other. Wow. Because that's what I do, I study human behavior. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, that's how I entertain myself. I sit in the corner and watch people, like especially at a, at a party. Wow. That's, that's my entertainment. Wow. Or I go and sit in a very quiet space in my house. Wow. My sister, thank you very much for having you on our program. For me, this has been a, a, a very exciting day because I've been watching you on television. Mm. And uh, you know, sometimes hoping one day to bump into her in the mall and get Should a selfie. Should we bump now? <laughs> <laughs> and get a selfie, but thank God the Lord brought you right in my studio. Thank you very much, ma'am. I thank really you. thank God for you. I feel blessed to have been here. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to our viewers for watching our program. I believe that you've been blessed as a result of the journey of uh, Sister Nambita. Remember, my brother and sister, that God loves you and uh, he can bless you beyond measure. Thank you once more for watching. Till we meet next week.